friends, this is Miss Jennifer at the Stark Museum of Art. Thanks for joining us for another week of Art Quest at Home. Today, Miss Christie's asked me to bring you into our Portraying an Idyllic Space Gallery. And this gallery features artists from the 20th century who worked in the 1900s. Specifically, this gallery features a lot of artists who were in the Tau Society of Artists including the artist that I have behind me here, um, who painted this work, William Herbert Dutton. Today we're going to take a closer look at William Herbert Dutton's work because he did a lot of work with dogs, and this week we're making art about pets. So before we look at this work, let's take a closer look at a watercolor that I think you're really going to enjoy. This watercolor is one of over 400 works by William Herbert Dutton in the Stark Museum of Arts collection. It features some of the artist's favorite subjects, cowboys, hunters, and animals, and in this case, specifically to hunting dogs. Let's take a closer look at this watercolor painting. What do you see? What catches your eye first? You probably notice the young cowboy leaning confidently against a toy rifle with two dogs at his side. The boy's bright red shirt probably grabbed your attention first. You may have noticed the dark brown cowboy hat and handkerchief tied around his neck or the pop of red around his shoes may have moved your eye to the bottom of the painting. The artist uses contrast to create visual interest. Contrast is a technique of placing two opposite elements together, such as light and dark, or soft and bold. Notice how the bright reds of the shirt and shoes and the dark browns of the hat and handkerchief balance against the softer grays and browns of the hunting dogs. Speaking of the dogs, they wait patiently at their owner's side. Dutton particularly liked dogs and painted them frequently. These pups appear to be typical hunting dogs, not too aggressive, but extremely smart at the hunt. Each looks down, obediently waiting for direction from their master. Would you give these two good boys a treat? I certainly think I would. William Herbert Dutton began his career as an illustrator, but later moved west to Taos, New Mexico, and was a founding member of the Taos Society of Artists. He had a successful career painting works featuring the open range, cowboys, hunters, and of course, man's best friend, the hunting dog. Well, speaking of man's best friend, I want to take a closer look at this painting behind me. This painting is called McMullen Guide, and you probably notice a rider perched on this beautiful white horse, but I want to focus on the foreground, what's in the very front of this painting, because you're going to notice there's a group of dogs down here. How many dogs do you see? What are they doing? You probably counted that there are seven dogs, and they're all up to a little bit something different. Now, these dogs are the hunting dogs, so while this scout is looking out, they're waiting patiently on his um, directions, and I think definitely have deserved a, um, and earned a treat at this point. But I want to talk about these dogs because there's something really unique here at the Stark Museum of Art, and that is that we not only have this painting by William Herbert Dutton, but we actually have the five studies that he did in preparation for this painting. Now, a study is a work of art that an artist does in preparation for a final work of art. So the study is going to help them kind of get to know the subject, kind of plan out what it's going to look like. So I want to give you a chance to take a close look at these studies because they're pretty neat and they tie directly to this painting. So let's take a look. And the best thing about these paintings is that they're all named and we can match them. So I'd like to introduce you to Tex, to Queenie, to Rustler, to Rainy, and to King. Now, one of the things that I love doing with this painting is matching these studies to the painting. Can you find these five dogs in the painting? It's pretty fun, huh? Well, I have really enjoyed taking a closer look at this artwork with you today, learning a little bit more about William Herbert Dutton and his love of painting animals. Now I want to give you a challenge. What I'm going to ask you to do is to create a sketch with pencil in your sketchbook of an animal, either your own pet, maybe it's a pet that you'd like to have. And what I want you to do is do that in black and white, just kind of like that watercolor that we looked at earlier. And then I want you to come back and add that pop of contrast. So maybe your animal has a red collar or their little pink tongue is hanging out or maybe your cat's green eyes are glowing brightly at us. Add that pop of contrast and then we will um, call that complete and call this day a wrap. 
Thanks so much for joining us and we look forward to seeing you tomorrow.